Hello, today I am unboxing a deck called Korea, the Magician's deck. Um, and it's also got the title 81. And this is a deck, I saw some artwork, I think it was, could have been on Facebook. And one of the artists, I, I know his work from before, Stuart Littlejohn. And it's just absolutely amazing. And when I realised that he was involved in deck creation, I thought, well, this is one I'm going to have to have, obviously. So after waiting many, many months for this to arrive, it arrived in the post today. So let's see. So he's not the only artist. There's uh, other people involved in this deck creation. Cassandra Beanland and Josephine McCarthy as well. And we have, I'll just read what it says here about this deck. It's not a tarot deck. Um, it says here, magicians from most magical systems will recognize many, if not all of the beings in this deck, not from their images, but from what they do, where they are from, and what power they operate through. This approach enables magicians and practitioners from many different magical and spiritual traditions to recognize the powers in this deck and to work with them within their own magical system. So these images can be used for portals, for um, journey and, journeying and meditation and um, for doing magical workings. So I imagine it's a powerful deck to work with. Let's see if I can get in. Excuse me while I bite into this. There we go. And that is the back of the cards. And let's start from the very beginning. Here we have Star Father. Light Bearer. Ottera, very powerful images. Path of Hercules, Soul, Imprisonment, Keeper of Justice, Luna, Challenge of the Gods. Creator of Time, Holder of Light, Pure Balance, Threshold Guardian, Place of Healing, Inner Sanctum, Inner Temple, Chariot. So these beings that you see in these cards, they are real entities that magicians encounter on the inner planes. Inspiration, Resources, Archon and Aeon, Abyss, Inner Liberation, it says no in a in <laughs> in a librarian that makes much more sense if I look at the image the right way up and that looks like a Stuart little uh, Stuart little John one um, wheel of fate beautiful temple of ancestors spirit guide the grindstone and that's definitely Stuart Little John, Fate Giver. Fantastic. Magical Temple. Goblin Queen. Keeper of the Abyss. Protector of Souls. Fate Holder. River of Dreams, Fairy King, Unraveler, 
Weaver of Creation, Inner Companion. Really powerful images. I mean, I keep saying that, but they are, and I'm not disappointed. Fate Taker, and this is Gate of the Be uh, Gate of the Past. Blood Ancestor, Mother Earth, Home and Hearth, Ghost. So the different colour borders represent different realms. Uh, Guardians of the Inner Desert, Hidden Knowledge. Parasite, Disease, Union, The Oracle, that's Stuart Littlejohn, definitely. This is that one, Priestess Magician, Child, Magical Attack, Limiter, Staff of the Gods, Giver of Gifts, The Elder, Female Warrior, love that one, Healer, The Idiot, Bailiff, Regenerator, Foundation, The Wise Teacher, The Occultist, Shamaness, Underworld, The Leader, Fellowship, Premonition, Glamour, The Man of Nature, Bridge of Death, Death Herself, The Mystic, Communication, Seclusion, Temptation, Scapegoat, Hierophant, I think it says, yeah, and Male Warrior, and the final card, Destruction. And I had a little look at the book before I unboxed the deck, and there is a, a spread at the very back, and it looks like this. And the spread positions are based on card names. So we have the gate, temple of ancestors, inner temple, etc. And the booklet has 76 pages. And obviously information about all the cards. And it's been signed by the decorators, so that's really nice. I'm well excited about this and I can't wait to familiarise myself more with the images so I'm going to go and do that now and I wish you all a wonderful weekend and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra for now.